At this point, Aventon has sent me three bikes. The first was the Cinch. Then there was a the Solterra. And now they've sent me the Aventor. Of all the bikes, the Aventor is my favorite. And for the record, I don't know if it's Adventure or Aventor. Either way, it starts with an A, ends with an E. Now, it's kind of funny how unstoppable the Aventon Adventure makes me feel when I'm on it. I really feel like I can go anywhere, even though the only place I ever ride is in the city. But that's actually saying more than it seems, considering the roads in Dallas look more like the surface of the moon than they do a paved surface. Yet and still, a small part of me wants to say the adventure is a little overkill for just riding around the city. I mean, it has a full front suspension with 80 millimeters of travel, four inch fat tires that look more like balloons than they do tires, fenders that cover so much of the tire, I'm surprised the tires even spin. Think about all the Jeep owners driving around the city in fully modded out Jeeps that look like they should be crawling through the mountains of Afghanistan, but instead are crawling around mall parking lots where the most off-road action they've seen is hopping the curb on the freeway to get to the feeder road to get out of traffic. That's me and the Aventon Adventure e-bike. With all of the torque this bike generates, there's nothing in the city I can't conquer. Not a curb, not a pothole, or hypodermic needles that are casually littering the streets. Oh, wait, I forgot. I live in Dallas, not Seattle. So disregard the hypodermic needle part. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. Long story short, the adventure is as much at home in the city as it may be on the countryside. Before this bike, I did a video about the Aventon Solterra, which Aventon markets as their city bike. And it is, but it's more a city commuter bike. The adventure is a, it's a Saturday and let's go tear up the city e-bike that can also serve as a phenomenal city commuter bike. That's assuming you don't live in an apartment and have to carry the bike up a set of stairs because at 73 pounds, this bike is heavy. But you'd be foolish to think that this bike's weight means that it's slow because of all the event on bikes I have, this one feels the fastest and that 28 miles per hour speed also feels effortless. Now, keep in mind, this is coming from someone who also has an e-bike that costs north of three times the price of the adventure. That effortless speed clearly comes from the throttle on command. My super duper expensive e-bike doesn't even have that. Just like the Solterra that I reviewed in the past, the adventure comes with that awesome screen that gives you way more information than you'll ever need, but I'm glad it does. And then there's the range on this bike. Now, I've never rode an e-bike long enough to completely exhaust its battery in one ride. That said, the Adventure has an average range of 45 miles. In order to make this video, I rode about 30 miles using mainly the throttle on demand. And at the end of it, I still had just under 40% battery left. I'll be honest and say, I've never really been a fan of the mountain bike aesthetic. And that's where the adventure pulls a lot of its visual cues from. I think the Solterra is a better looking bike, but I can genuinely say that in the realm of a mountain bike aesthetic, this is a good looking bike. My only desire would be for it to be completely blacked out with absolutely no color, but that's par for the course with me as I don't believe there are any other colors that exist except for black. If you wanted to, you could make the event on adventure an end of the world e-bike provided the end of the world had electricity. However, I think it makes for a great city overlanding e-bike. I know I just kind of made that term up, but that's kind of the feel that I get with it. The front light and rear light means you can ride this thing at night and still be seen. The tires and suspension means you can basically ride over anything the city can throw with you and barely feel it because of how comfortable the adventure is. It's not just the tires and suspension either. It's also the seat. Seat is way more comfortable than I expected, and the 180mm rotor hydraulic disc brakes mean 
you can stop this beast fast enough to avoid being hit by the shitty ass Dallas drivers that we have. Besides being heavy though, the Adventure is a wonderful jack of all trades e-bike that does speed, torque, and comfort really well. And because I'm never at a loss for comparing anything I do on video to a car, if I had to, this reminds me very much of a T-Rex Ram. Big, comfortable, really fast, really powerful, very practical, and borderline unstoppable. So, I don't know about you, but your miles may vary. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.